International Women's Day is a global day celebrating the social, economic, cultural, and political achievements of women. In this feature, Karen Williams Sykes shares about how we can all break bias and promote equality among all. This special feature was provided by Assuage Business Development Limited. Hello everyone, my name is Karen Williams Sykes and I am a born and bred proud Trinidadian. My background is in hospitality, my BSc is in hotel management, and I have worked and studied and consulted in the hospitality industry throughout the Caribbean and the world for pretty much my entire career. And I am also very proud to say that I did that degree at the University of the West Indies. So I'm a proud product of the Caribbean region. My MBA is from the University of Leicester, and I also have a master's in international relations from Manchester University in the UK. I worked in the industry in Tobago, in Jamaica, in the Bahamas, in Turks and Caicos, and then went on to work in Dubai in the United Arab Emirates for 12 years, after which I worked in Qatar for three years. And I am currently back in the region, I'm in St. Lucia, and I'm the current Director for Learning and Development at Sugar Beach, a Viceroy Resort. Break the bias. Let's embrace and promote a gender equal world. One that is free of bias, stereotypes and discrimination. A world that is diverse, equitable and inclusive, where difference is valued and celebrated. The hospitality industry is notoriously a man's world. And it's quite ironic because, you know, women, we run the household, uh, certainly within Trinidad and Tobago, culturally, we tend to run our families as well. So you would think that we would run hotels. We don't. So the vast majority of general managers or HODs, heads of departments of any of the, the areas within a hotel are usually run by men. Learning and development tends to be a little bit different. Human resources tends to be a little bit different. But I can tell you that one of my earliest positions as a food and beverage manager at what was then one of the leading resorts in Tobago, anytime I met with um, salespeople or people who wanted me to buy their products in food and beverage, wines, rum, meat, they were always quite shocked. Oh my God, you're a woman. Because there are very few female food and beverage managers, certainly within our region. The industry is very demanding. It's very long hours, very unsociable hours. If you think about it, anytime you're partying at a hotel, we're working. So it doesn't um, appeal perhaps to too many women. And it's very much, it can very much be a boys club. So that's one of the earliest biases that I encountered in my career. Um, just, oh, you're a woman. And yes, I'm a woman and I know my stuff. So I've always had to, I think, work a little bit harder, work a little bit longer. Uh, I'm very, uh, very used to working six days a week, 10 to 11 hours a day. That is the foundation of my um, journey in this industry but it's an industry I love. I'm very passionate about the hospitality industry. And I went on to segue that into learning and development within the industry. And so I'm very passionate now about training people and developing people and particularly women. I tend to find one or two women in, in any of the places I've worked and mentor them and, and try to get them to not hold themselves back, to believe in themselves, and to believe and see that there's a place for them in this industry, even if they have to make it for themselves. A peaceful, prosperous, and sustainable world, gender equality is a necessary foundation. 
One of the biases I want to to point out, besides uh, just the bias against my gender as a woman, is our bias to international expectations and, and our bias that, that falls into stereotypes. So when I left the Caribbean and I went to work in the Middle East, I had biases. I really thought that as a woman, as a woman of color, that I would have an even harder time finding my way in the industry in the Middle East. I expected to be overlooked. I expected to be um, put to one side. I didn't have a, a what they call in the Middle East a Western passport. I wasn't British or American. I, to this day, with all the places I live, I still have my Trini passport. So nobody knew where I was from and nobody I thought would expect anything of me. And with the Western media and the way they promote the Middle East, I really thought I would have a challenge. And I want to say categorically that Dubai specifically did not do that. And I was offered opportunities that I actually didn't even expect. Um, I, I, I felt a sense of respect as a woman, simply because I was a woman, I was given certain um, allowances, or I should say doors were open because they, and, and Dubai is a very special place. I think they were actively trying to promote equality even ahead of, you know, now all the companies are talking about DEI and diversity and equality. Dubai was doing that in 2007 when I got there, and so probably even before. So I was really, I think, assessed on my capabilities, my qualifications. I was given every opportunity to prove myself in an environment where I wasn't really expecting it. And I think I learned so much from that, and I've taken that with me into every company I've worked with since. That's what we need to do. Don't judge people just based on how they look, whether that's gender, race, accents, um, nationality. Look at people's qualifications, both their academic and their professional qualifications. See if you could see what they're bringing to the table, regardless of what they look like or what they sound like. And we need to have that in how we approach business generally, not just the hospitality industry, but any business, and in how we build relationships with each other. I certainly hope that I am doing that, now that I'm back in the region, in the company I am working with. We are very focused as a Viceroy um, resort on diversity, equity, and inclusion. So in everything that we do, we we look to see, and we, we assess ourselves do we have a gender bias? Do we have a race bias? Um, are we not hiring people because they're in a wheelchair? Um, could we not, this person is really qualified for something, could we not facilitate them with, with a, a tweak here and a, a ramp there? And why not? Why don't we actively try to include everyone, including, of course, women? at the table, in the decision-making, and in the discussions. This is International Women's Month, month of March, and I think we really want to focus on women. But for me, as a woman, I want to say one of our biggest challenges is us. That's always been my experience, particularly in the Caribbean. We as women judge each other. We as women are our strongest critics. I think I want to see more sisterhood, more uplifting, more uh, inclusion. Don't say I need to be the only woman in this position or in this job. Open doors for your sister. Give a sister an opportunity.